Hello, it's Sarah here from Inky Doodles. I'd like to welcome you to our first video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and simple card using our floral circle set. That's the floral circle set that we have on the website. Uh, it's proving to be really popular at the moment. It's great for making backgrounds and also uh, you can use it for focal images as well. The card we're going to make today uses a really easy resist technique. And for, to do this you need glossy card. Um, a really good coated cardstock is probably the best one that you can get. As you can see, I've just I've folded a piece of copy paper in half and I've just torn out a rectangular shape. We're going to use this as a mask to ink through. As you can see, I've just drawn um, a shape on the back so I can see where my card's actually going to go. And I'm using a tiny bit of repositionable adhesive just so that it doesn't move as I stamp it. We're using Versamark ink which is just a clear, sticky embossing ink and you won't see very much when I stamp this at all. So we're going to randomly stamp through the aperture that we've created. And you can build this pattern up any way that you like really. As I say, you won't see very much at all at this stage. I'll just go in with the smaller one. There we go. And what we need to do now is just dry that off with a heat gun. There. It shouldn't really take very long to dry. And for this bit I'm using um, a Memento ink. This is Rosebud, this colour. And also I'm going to use a Distress ink in Peacock Feathers as well. And what you need to try and do is just pull the ink in. Don't force it under the edge of your mask, just pull it in towards the centre. try and be a bit random with this. Don't get too hung up on where your colours are going. We'll go back in with the peacock feathers. And you can keep adding as much or as little as you like with this, just um, keep adding and layering it up until you're happy with the result. And you can see what's happening, the, the um, dye-based ink won't stick to the Versamark ink pad, it acts as a resist. You get some lovely effects where you overlay different colours. We'll just go back in with a tiny bit more pink there. And the moment of magic really happens when you take your mask off and see what you've got. There we go, I'm quite happy with that now. You can either leave it like that or you can do what I did on the original card, which is to over stamp it with black. It just gives you another sort of layer. So we'll try and offset it slightly so that we don't obscure our original design. Just do a few of those. Oops. It wouldn't be me if I didn't drop a stamp during a video, would it? And there we go, the finished article. As you can see, if you layer it up onto black card, it makes the design really pop out. And what I've done on the original, I'll just show you here. I've actually gone around it with um, a black fine liner pen and I've just stamped birthday in the bottom. So there we go, today's technique, um, resist technique using Versamark, really quick and simple and easy to do.